Welcome to Vada Boom. I'm Troy. On this episode, we review Geiger number one, written by Jeff Johns, art by Gary Frank, with colors by Brad Anderson, and letters by Rob Lay. Picking up the Glowing Man story from Ghost Machine 1, the new ongoing series is set to release on April 3rd, Ghost Machine Day. Listen as we discuss how issue one expands the world of Geiger and the unnamed. Bada boom! Hey guys, welcome to Bada Boom. We're here to talk to you about Geiger number one. And what did you think, Troy? You know, we've had some other stories about Geiger prior to this number one. Uh, you know, there's, I think he said right before we kind of hopped on, like there are a couple number ones. So which one is this kind of going to be? But this is the start of the ongoing of the for Geiger number one. I thought it was great. You know, it's really great that we have some of the backstory for this character as this launches as its own uh, monthly story. Uh, and there's some definitely some great things that they reference that happened in the older, the the previous volumes that come out, like Geiger coming into town to go to the library to pick up a book. And you see things around people being afraid of him and his powers and it's a really good continuation of where we left off in some of the other stories of Geiger. And we're, we're kind of picking it up without skipping a beat. So if you haven't read those, highly recommend you read them. But if you haven't, and this is the first time you're introduced to the character, it's still a really good introduction. Yeah, you know, this, I would say, is the most fast paced the, the story has felt so far. The original Geiger series was uh, six issues and was more sort of a mini series. We knew they were con would continue it some way, somehow, because of Junkyard Joe. And obviously in the Geiger 80-page giant, we got some other stories set in the Geiger universe. And when it was revealed that Geiger was a part of Ghost Machine, you know, the new company by Jeff Johns, Gary Frank, Brian Hitch, Jason Fabach, and many more, we knew this was going to expand. And it expanded with Geiger Ground Zero, which was even more backstory to Geiger, to read Geiger, the main character of this series. And now we're here. We're in a point where we know who Geiger is. We know their power set. And now we're going to go on an adventure. So this definitely sets up Geiger as this, this loner character, but he's definitely accepted uh, who he is. You know, he's still a recluse and a, a loner and almost like he feels like sort of like those old Western characters that will come into town and, you know, reluctantly help the people in the town, even though he doesn't want to get involved. So it does have that like Western feel to it. And I really like that. And also Gary Frank is doing some amazing work with the art, like just the brutality of when guy oh, yeah. like goes <laughs> when he goes like nuclear is crazy. Just, you know, when he sends you know, those barren rods through like people's heads and he's just putting his hand on people's faces just to burn them alive. He's definitely uh, the most powerful being we've seen so far in, in this universe. And it makes sense that this character has had the longest run between all of the different, you know, one shots and stuff like that. I think at this point, Geiger is up to eight or nine issues, which uh, in today's comics is an eternity. Yeah. And there, like you said, I think the brutality that Geiger is happening, it's definitely shining through on these pages. And part of that, I've, I've got to say, you know, definitely for Gary Frank for, for drawing such great detailed strips and, and comic blocks, but also for, you know, Jeff Johns has said several times because it's their company, they can kind of do whatever they want. So when you're seeing some of these panels and it's like, wow, that is some intense violence it's like well they don't have anyone really telling them yeah don't do that so you get to see cool things like this in comics when you're reading books from a creator-owned company and in this story like as you see like all that brutality uh you get to see that kind of balance within geiger himself as he sees different things uh, that remind him of his family his daughter and it kind of unburies the the humanity that he has thrown so so deep to a dark hole within himself and he tries to maybe not do any kind of redemption but decides to go back and talk to the nuclear knight and say you know what i'll give you a chance let's go find someone who you say was like me and was cured and that kind of starts 
what is the rest of the story or, or the first part of the story for Geiger and his arc, which, you know, it, it seems like there's going to be some pretty cool stuff happening to him and some things he might have to watch his back for, which like, I definitely agree. It kind of has that Western vibe with some of the, the storytelling and some of the aspects of it. But what do you think is going to happen next after this issue, Chris? Yeah. Um, with this particular issue, like you said, there's some things set up. The nuclear knight, Nate, is saved by Geiger, you know, after he's going to kill himself. And, you know, the nuclear knight is someone that's been seeking out Geiger because he says that he knows someone that was cured that was like Geiger. So I think a lot of this will be sort of an on the road story. And then also, you know, in terms of the unnamed universe, I think it's going to expand it because from this story, you know, it's been set in, in Las Vegas and Nevada. I think they're going to be able to kind of go across the country, which will be really interesting to see how the unnamed and this war has affected the rest of the country. Because the other books, well, the other book, which is Red Coat, and we'll have an episode on that, is in the past. So you don't see sort of like what the rest of this world looks like. So it'll be cool to see them expand it. And then also on the final page, we do get a tease of another powered being who seems to have like electricity powers or lightning powers. And it looks like they're hunting for Geiger. So we don't know if they've been paid, if they have a past with Geiger. But I think for in the future, we're going to see the, the universe expand. And I do like sort of that dynamic between the nuclear knight and Geiger, just because I think they both, after their experiences from that first story, um, the nuclear knight was kind of introduced in uh, ground uh, in Ghost Machine one, but just based on sort of how they found Geiger, you can tell that what Geiger did in that first story had a big impact on them. So it, it's kind of interesting to see how Geiger's inspired others and also inspired himself because now he's in a different place in his life. Whereas in that first story, he was kind of just guarding his family, and then after. He, he found out that his family wasn't alive. It kind of changed his whole world. And we're seeing that with the nuclear night, Nate, the nuclear night, which will be interesting to see like what they're like. It kind of reminds me of um, if you played the newer God of War, it's like how, um, you know, Kratos walks around with that head. That's that's the nuclear night. in this. I feel <laughs> like, you know, he's just going to be like that, that voice kind of giving exposition. But, you know, you love him enough where you're like, please don't kill him. So I, I really like the story. I like where where it's going because we've gotten so much Geiger uh, of the Ghost Machine books. This one is normal size, whereas the other ones are 48 pages. So it's really fast paced. It's introducing sort of it's setting the groundwork for what this ongoing will be. And I think there's a lot of story to tell, whereas some of the stories we've seen told with Geiger are very contained and obviously serve the purpose of introducing the character. Yeah, for sure. There's there's definitely a lot more to to tell with Geiger and, and what he's going to be doing next. So if you haven't yet, go pick up the first issue of Geiger, put it on your pool list at your local comic book shop, and enjoy the story of what we have so far and get excited for what's going to be coming next. And with that, bada boom. Bada boom. Thank you for listening to the Bob Boom Podcast. Keep the conversation going with Chris and I on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. You can find us on all these places at at Bada Boom Podcast. Get into the comments on our YouTube channel. Let us know what you like about the show or what you'd like to hear from us in the future. Until next time, please subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen. Thanks for listening.